welcome back to my channel it's your girl destiny and i'm back with another video and in this video i'm doing the wet look on short curly hair and this is how it turned out i actually really really like it i can definitely see me rocking this style again um, it's really easy and it did not take me too long i have never tried this look before i used eco styling gel and i used my edge control paste to help me um, receive this look and i think it turned out well I put some bobby pins in it to help kind of spice it up. This is my first time ever doing this. Um, I've actually seen people use these before as like a little design and I've actually kind of been like, ooh. But y'all, I really like it. I can see me using these more often. Um, I don't know how I would use them if my hair was big, but definitely if I do this wet look again, I will be using these again. Um, but yeah, guys. If you like this look so far, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you some of the things I'll be using to help make this style work. The first thing I'll be using is the Eco Argan Oil Styling Gel. I haven't used this in forever. I used to use the, um, I think the Olive Oil Eco Styling Gel maybe years ago. And I picked this up today at Walmart because I knew I'd be doing this style. And this is the only thing I could think to help lay my hair down. I'll also be using my curls um, control paste. Y'all know this is my favorite. I always use this. As you can see, I'm running low. And then I also have a comb to part my hair, a soft brush, and then my spray bottle. And I also picked up these um, gold bobby pins today, maybe to do a little design on the side or something. Um, so yeah, so let's get right to it. But first, I'm going to spray my hair a little bit. Not too much because I don't want it to take 20 years to dry and then I'm going to take my comb to part and I'm going to part on the left side. Try not to do it too deep. I like to wear my hair to the right side of my face. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to do um, both sides behind my ear. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the down on one side. I don't know. It's kind of pretty. I don't know. It's kind of Marilyn Monroe lookish. But anyways, um, so I actually put some leave-in conditioner in my hair earlier off camera. So I don't have to do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Eco Styling Gel. And I'm going to put about that much, if you can see. And I'm going to just start laying it on. Kind of spreading it through my hair like I'm putting in um, my curling products. So what's probably going to make this work is once I begin smoothing it down. I actually hate I didn't pick up any um, hairspray. I have seen some videos where people use hairspray. But I don't want my hair super crunchy. Like if I wore this style out, I want it to look soft, not hard. I'm going to get a little bit more and smooth the bottom, try to spread on the inside of my hair. And now I'm going to take my detangling brush to help smooth it down first, get out like my curls to try to lay it down. This is by far my favorite brush. Y'all, if you hear my chair squeaking, sorry. <laughs> Guess I should have picked the chair that doesn't make all the noise. Alright, so I feel like all my curls are laid down this on top and now I'm going to take my soft brush to really smooth it. I'm going to try to take my hair to the front and then swoop it behind my ear. Make sure I lay the back down and do the same on this side. And 
And now that I have that laid down, I'm going to actually take my brush again. I'm going to go back here while holding my hair down so it doesn't lift back up. I'm going to kind of um, try to get my curls activated back, back here. So this still shows my curl definition, but up here it's a, it's laying down super flat. Try to scrunch it up some. All right, and now I'm going to take my curls control paste. Whoops. <laughs> And I'm going to put about that much and I'm going to just put it on my fingertips and spread it around my edges so that can be nice and clean. And I'm going to put what's left on the back of my hair and I'm going to go back in with my soft brush. And I'm just going to make sure I smooth that down. Swoop around my ear. And then maybe lift that. And then maybe lift that a little bit so it can, that part can be tucked behind my ear and this can be hanging a little bit over it. I think I like that better than it all just all pushed back. I'm definitely going to have to use those bobby pins later to make sure that it stays the way I want it. Alright. Smooth it down in the back. All right, and now I'm going to take my um, I'm going to take my um, edge brush and try to do my baby hairs a little bit. I normally do my baby hairs once my hair is dry, but we will see if they'll work doing it when my hair is wet. And then probably use the other side. To Comb it back down and do the other side. And y'all, please ignore my fingernails. The struggle is real right now with these salons being closed. Um, they're a hot mess, but just ignore those. Let's try to just get these baby hairs laid, shall we? I'm going to touch these up once it's dry. I think that is going to do it. Alright guys, I'm back and this is how it looks. Um, it definitely shrunk a whole lot. It's kind of still a little wet um, up here, but it's definitely dry down here. But look how much it shrunk, guys. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. Um, I don't like how it's super flat, so I think I'm just going to kind of hold the top part down and maybe fluff the bottom out a little bit. I don't know. Um, it still gives it that wet look if the top is still laid down, but y'all know I love volume. So this is a little bit different for me. I definitely can see this style for the summertime. When it's super hot and you don't feel like doing much to your hair, just put some gel in it and slick it down and walk out the door. I definitely might be trying that some this summer if we can go out anywhere. But um, I don't know. I think I'm going to put some bobby pins in it to kind of spice it up a little bit. So let's see. There's actually two different color golds. It's a, a, like a rose gold and just a regular gold. And y'all know I love gold, so 
to maybe help slick this down a little bit more or to help make this stay. I put one there. I have seen where people actually crisscross the bobby pins or just line them up the side. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is just start lining mine down the side. And maybe put, I don't know, maybe five. I think it's crazy how these have came back in style. <laughs> when I was in high school, you wanted to hide your bobby pin as much as possible. And on the other side, I may do the crisscross. Hold it down as I put the bobby pin in. I'm gonna angle this one that way. And I'm gonna put the other one right on top of it, but going in the opposite direction. Ooh, I like that. It's pretty. I wish I did on this side. I think I'm going to add a few more on this side. Try to straighten them up if I can. Yeah, more is better. Alright. I do like that much better. I didn't think I would, but I really, really like it. Wow. Hmm. I like that, guys. Now, I'm wondering once this dry, if it's going to eventually start freezing up or anything. Um, kind of curious about that because right now I can kind of feel it maybe getting a little frizzy in this area. And with the wet look, I don't think you want much frizz. Um, I know when my hair is down and big, frizz is fine. But with this look, I think the less frizz you can have is um, the better. So, I don't know. But y'all, I like it. I think this would look good with an all black outfit. Maybe some faux leggings, some black heels, pop some red lipstick. Yes, I really think that would look so good with this. And I think with the short look, it looks really good. I actually have not seen a video with anyone doing this um, look with short hair. All the videos I've seen, everyone has had long hair. So I'm glad to be able to be making this video. But I love it. You guys tell me what you think. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know if you decide to try this hairstyle out. Um, if you actually post a picture on Instagram, make sure you tag me. Don't forget my information is in the description box below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn your notification bell on so that when I post a new video that you're notified. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.